Hello everyone, and welcome back to another friendly react. Today we are reacting to the Pokemon Presents for Pokemon Day. I just got home, it's a little about an hour and a half after the presentation has already aired. So I'm gonna react to it right now. I am very excited to see what the Pokemon Presents has for us. Last year we got the reveal, <coughs> excuse me, of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which was massive. We also got DLC confirmed for Pokemon Legends Arceus, so yeah, I'm excited. So let's jump right in, shall we? Let's go. Ah, there's Pikachu. Pokemon Presents, let's go. Duh, oh, look at him. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, February 27th is Pokemon Day. Yeah. This is the date that the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were first released in Japan. Yeah! Marking the beginning of the Pokemon series. At the time... That Pikachu was so weird looking. Pokemon had been discovered. But now that number has grown to over 1,000. Yeah, it's crazy. To all you trainers around the world who have journeyed together with your Pokemon over the years, we are so thankful for your support. We are thankful for your amazing creations. In today's presentation, <laughs> we will be bringing you all sorts of news about Pokemon. First, we would like to talk about this year's Pokemon World Championships. Okay. The first ever to be held in Japan. That's strange for some reason. Brown, take it away. You know, I can't... No! <laughs> that blush is amazing. Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company International, and I'm so glad to join you again to talk about our annual Pokemon World Championships. This you know, last year in London, more than 10 some awesome outfits from all over the world gathered together to celebrate Pokemon and experience epic battles. Thank you to all the trainers who made the London World Championship Pikachu Brigade the largest ever, and congratulations again to our newest world champions. Now I'd like to share with you all some details about our next event. All right. The 2023 Pokemon World Championships will be held in Japan for the very first time. We look forward to trainers battling in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games, the Pokemon Training Card game, Pokemon Go, and Pokemon Unite from August 11th to 13th at the Pacifico Yokohama. And would love to attend such a place. More than a decade, Even though I don't care about World Championships of my own. Each location that makes the World Championship experience unique. Today, I am happy to share the key art for Yokohama for the very first time. Let's have a look. Sprigatito, Fue Coco, Quaxley, naturally. Pikachu. Oh, we got the Tatsugiri over there. Volton Veluza! The championships is so special because of how our community from around the world comes together to play Pokemon. We can't wait to see you there. And for those that can't oh, they're creepy in the be hair. sure to catch all the action on our live broadcasts all weekend long. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Is that Pikachu sitting on a suitcase of some sort? Is he going on like a journey? Moving on, please have a look at this video. Yes, please. Alright, what do we have here? Okay, so like a trading card, mats set. It looks cool. I'm not sure if this uh, trailer for whatever this is needed to be so epic. I mean, I get that you can get me into the card game, but this is just a little, uh, <laughs> a little too much. Pokemon trading card game classic. Okay. Stay tuned for more information. 
Okay. Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic is designed to be a premium Pokemon TCG set that will last a lifetime. Created by the design firm Nendo, Creatures, and the Pokemon Company as a joint production. Cool, cool. We'll be providing a sneak peek of the product at the Pokemon World Championships. So I hope you will all come check it out. I'd love to invite me, fly me over there, but, Next, you know. We'd like to announce a new Pokemon venture. Oh, a new venture? To tell you more, we have Miss Min Young Kim from Netflix. Oh, is that the new series? Thank you for the kind introduction. Hi, everyone. My name is Min Young Kim. Nice blurring. I oversee Netflix film and series from Asia Pacific. Thank you for having us here today, and I'm thrilled to share how we're bringing Pokemon and Netflix together for the first time this year. At Netflix, we're passionate about developing local programming that entertains audiences around the world. And so today, we're pleased to announce that Netflix, in collaboration with the Pokemon Company, are producing a brand new Netflix series, The Pokemon Concierge. We have a group of experts here in Japan who are passionate about finding and developing original stories from Japan that can excite audiences all over the world. And we are dedicated to adapting fan favorite stories and manga mm -hmm. into extraordinary shows. Okay. With this title, we're excited to marry an entirely new storyline that expands the Pokemon universe with groundbreaking stop motion animation. Okay. To bring this new world to life, We've partnered with the amazing creative team at Dwarf Studio. The series, which will be set at the Pokemon Resort, follows the story of our concierge Haru and the many Pokemon who visit as guests. <laughs> we hope you enjoy that sounds fun. first look at the Netflix series Pokemon Concierge. Pokemon shorts have always been extremely good. Like, I hold this up to a high standard. <laughs> ポケモンたちはい、なんか。お客様としてお訪れる場所。これはそこで働く一人のコンシェルジュのお話。There's a much of a look. <laughs> but okay, I'll, I'll look forward to it. Pokemon Concierge will be a new animated series brought to you by Netflix and Pokemon. Please stay tuned for this new series release. Yeah, sure. I'm down. Now, we'd like to present the latest news about our games. All right, let's go for it. Mr. Utsunomiya, please take it away. Please do. Hello, Pikachu. Hello. Stolax! I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Cup. Sorry. Got a little excited there. Have you all been making good progress with your treasure hunt in the Paldea region? Oh yeah, for sure. Today, we have updates on the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. <laughs> oh Please take a look at the latest updates about several of our other games. Alright, that's fine. Show me. There's gonna be Cafe first. Oh no, Unite. Alright, let's see. I should play more Unite. It's always fun when I do play it. We've entered our second year of service and surpassed 100 million total downloads. Awesome. More and more Pokemon have joined the fray, allowing for even more strategies and ways to play. All right, show me what you got. Pokemon Zacian is now Zacian. Unite battles. Its unite move is Sovereign Sword. Jeez, goodbye. It's a broad swath with its slash attack. It can also charge its sword with Aeos energy to unleash a stronger attack. Use these huge attacks to overwhelm your opponent. Jeez Louise. <laughs> special Hollowware. Awesome. The adventure in Zashian's Wield event is now underway. Complete missions to receive rewards. You can also obtain Zashian's Unite license, so be sure to join in. All right. There's also a boss rush event underway. Ooh, boss rush. That sounds fun. Formidable foes with your allies and earn rewards. Plus, to celebrate Pokemon Day, we're distributing a gift Ooh. for a special item. And we're hosting an invitation-only league to decide our Asia region champion. Check out how the battles are going. Oh, that's an awesome-looking Dragonite. Pokemon Unite social channels. 
The teams that win their way through each league will come together in a dramatic face-off in Malaysia's Kuala Lumpur on March 18th and 19th. I mean, that sounds nice, but I'm not qualified for that. So I hope they have fun. Yeah, I should play that more. Maybe a couple of times on stream. That sounds very cafe mixy. Ugh, look at all the fresh fruit. That looks delicious. I haven't had dinner yet, so <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. Oh, is there, is there like little Fido's? And a small live? And a Wiglet? And a Lechonk? Oh, that's adorable. What's yeah. This? Seems the aroma of our newest dish has brought some customers to the cafe. Here at the cafe in the Pokemon Cafe Aww. Remix game, we meet Pokemon from the Paldea region. Sprigatito, Quacoco. Quack actually looks so. Whip up as someone just like pushed his head down. And bring delight to your Pokemon visitors. <laughs> Progress through the event. And it looks so much smaller. One of these three to join your staff. Which one will you choose? To celebrate Pokemon Day. Oh, hello, Greninja. Cafe Remix. We're also giving away a special in-game Great Chef outfit for Greninja. And there's more. You can now deliver to a whole array of five-star Chef Pokemon that have appeared in the past. To celebrate All right. special development, you can enjoy a bonus 11 times... Special bonus! Right now, without using in-game currency. Play Pokemon Cafe Remix on Nintendo... I've Switch never really gotten into that, honestly. And discover what new Pokemon and... I don't think I played it all that much. Your cafe next. I guess nothing much about puzzle games. Ooh, what's all this? I hope you're ready. Oh, this Masters EX, most likely. Got some champions, huh? Shine on. Shall we begin? Oh, celebrates three and a half years. All right. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Wow, I had never imagined. Uh, Leon's voice to be like that. <laughs> I want to be as strong as Lee. Wow. No, I'm going to be Hop looks great. Betty or Bead. We didn't see him at all in uh, the anime. Marnie. That's some epic music, by the way. Let me show you the power of spike. Dang. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable. Great enemy. art. Let's get this started. I can't play Master EX because it's Band of Benevolence, so as cool as it all looks, I can't do anything. Which is a shame. More Pikachu's. Moving on, please have a look at this video. Okay, did, did we need to get interrupted for that? I mean, we'll take it, but <laughs> not actual gameplay footage. Dramatization. Good night. Wait. Oh, okay. This is the time where I would grab my DS from under my pillow and start playing Pokemon. Ah, uh, Pokemon sleeps. No lags. Yes! Time to download Pokemon Sleep, everyone. El Tristan. Oh, they're joining him in the bed! Aww. Sleep does not include AR functionality. Man, I would love that, though. Sleeping together with my Pokemon. Oh, well, I don't have enough room in the bed for a Snorlax. Oak. <laughs> what, he wants food now? That's a shell, huh? <laughs> Total dial.
<laughs> Look at him. This is just adorable. Yeah, Snorlax, getting some love. Rest your very best. Got a little separate attachment too. We know we've kept you all waiting. <laughs> you can say that again. Last, we can bring Pokemon Sleep to you later this year. Awesome. Kind of curious to see what it's about. Pokemon Sleep is to be a game that makes you look forward to waking up in the morning. To get a Finally. better idea of what you can expect, please check out the next video. Thank you. All right, let's do it. Welcome to the world of Pokemon Sleep. Your adventure takes place on a small island. Uh huh. On this island, you'll find Great Big Snorlax. Yeah. And Professor Neroli, who is researching Pokemon. Oh, I love him! What a cool guy. It's easy to play on this island. All you have to do is get a good night's sleep. If you leave your smartphone by your pillow when you go to bed. Uh huh. Recorded. Once that's done, it will be categorized into one of three sleep types. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Snoozing or slumbering. Okay. Pokemon that tend to sleep in the same way as you did will gather around Snorlax. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, that turtle owl is eyes wide open. Oh, there we go. in-game sleep styles that most will never see. It's Goofy sleep. Species of Pokemon have several sleep styles. Uh-huh. The one-eyed sleep? That's scared. Scary. Enjoy going to sleep and waking up Aww. as you research the sleep styles of Pokemon together with Snorlax. Yeah. I'll download that. That seems like a fun thing. By using the Pokemon Sleep app regularly, you can have fun while tracking the regularity of your sleep or rest rhythm. Pokemon rest rhythm. Jeez, that was iOS and weird. Android devices later this year. Ah, okay. Next. We'd like to introduce the device you just got a glimpse of, the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. Plus Plus. This that is thing. The Pokemon Go Plus Plus accessory. It is a new device that you can use uh -huh. for Pokemon Sleep and Pokemon Go. Cool. It's cool. It's very simple to use it with Pokemon Sleep. Press the button when you are going to bed. Ah. And press that button once again. When you wake up in the morning. No, oh, that's so adorable. That, your sleep data has been measured. Okay. There's a Pikachu within your Pokemon Go Plus Plus. Mika, Mika. It can sing you lullaby. No, oh, that's adorable. It sounds so cute. The friendlier, the more sleep you get together. Even unlock new alarm sounds for you. It's like you're cuddled up to catch some bees with Pikachu. <laughs> this device also has handy functions for playing Pokemon Go. Okay, yeah. Without even pulling out your smartphone, you can automatically spin Pokestops and throw regular Pokeballs at Pokemon. Useful. Now you can choose to throw Great Balls and Ultra Balls as well. Oh, that's nice. There are future plans to add new functionality that'll use your sleep data in Pokemon Go too. Stay tuned for more. If it's not too expensive, it'd be cool to get that device. What do you think? The Pokemon Go Plus Plus device should be available to purchase in July. Hmm, that's not too far off. Pokemon Go Plus Plus to your Pokemon Go. Wow, I want that. Access to special research in Pokemon Go that will allow you to encounter a Snorlax wearing a nightcap. Yeah, that's nice. Look forward to more news to come about Pokemon Sleep and the Pokemon Go Plus Plus device. All right, so far the the presence has been tame, but let's see what else it has because I am curious. To see what it has for mainline Next, games. We turn to the latest updates about Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Yeah, share sure it to us. Games in the Pokemon series, which were released in November last year. And I've been having fun with it. Got some more raids. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Look at that! Whoa! Holy moly! What are those? There's like a mechanical Verizion and an ancient uh, Suicune. I want them.
Walking Wake and Iron Leaves. Wow. It seems Walking Wake appears in Pokemon Scarlet, while Iron Leaves can be found in Pokemon Violet. You'll I love them. You'll catch them for yourself by claiming victory in a Terra Raid battle event. The event will begin not long after this broadcast. As soon you can as only catch one per save data. You'll still be able to. Uh, okay, okay. Family, friends, and other trainers to take on this challenge. To encounter, you need to download latest update data. All right, so you can only catch one. Soon be able to connect to Pokemon Go. <laughs> oh, that's also nice, I guess. In Pokemon Go, you can receive gifts from friends or by visiting Pokestops around the world. We know that, yes. These gifts come with postcards. Uh huh. Once it's possible to connect these games, you'll be able to send postcards to your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet game. And you'll find that the pattern of Vivian that appear there will change based oh. on the postcard's location data. Oh, that's nice! And on the Pokemon Go side, the players who have sent postcards will find themselves able to catch roaming form Gimme Ghoul coins. Oh, that's that cool! Game. And can we also switch him over there? Collect 999 Gimme Ghoul coins to evolve Gimme Ghoul into Golden Go. We're also planning to begin Pokemon Home support for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet early this year. Yeah, let's hope it comes soon. Then you'll be able to bring roaming form Gimme Ghoul that you've caught in Pokemon Go to Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet via Pokemon Home. That would be nice. We hope you look forward to it. But that's not everything, right? And finally, we'd like to share our last video for today with you. Oh, a last one already? Please have a look at this. Oh, <laughs> show me. Not actual gameplay footage. You don't say. Ah, <laughs> oh, Chime Echo Chime. Are those supposed to be bug one? Hey, Tatsugiri! <coughs> Shaved eyes, masks. Alright. Those look like ancient Pokemon. What are those? What is all that? Don't tell me they're announcing Gen 10. <laughs> Mamoswine? A classroom? Are we going on like a, a class trip or something? Okay, what's all this? What's all this about? Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The hidden treasure of Area Zero. Oh, okay. And what is this? Oh, what is it? Part one. The Teal Mask. Part two, uh, the Crimson Mask or whatever. <coughs> oh, that's cute. Part two, the Indigo Disc. Oh, that's the disc they spoke of in the thing. Fall and Winter. Okay. DLC will be available for purchase for the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. The title of this DLC is The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Uh-huh. But only until fall, that's such a long time. Parts, with part one, the teal mask, coming in fall 2023. Part two, the indigo disc, will be distributed in winter 2023. Okay. Purchasing the hidden treasure of Area Zero will allow you to enjoy playing both parts of the DLC with the same data you already have in Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. I mean, naturally. Part, what are all those Pokemon? You'll be visiting the land of Kitakami as part of a school trip, as your oh. adventures expand beyond the Paldea region. <coughs> cool! And in part two, the Indigo Disc, you'll be studying as an exchange student at Blueberry Academy. Blueberry Academy. During these adventures, you'll be able to encounter some familiar Pokémon that you don't right. see living in Paldea. Yeah, but what about special forms or something? 
the legendary Pokemon that newly appear in the hidden treasure of Area Zero are Ogre Pond, with its fearsome mask. Ogre Pond? And Terrapagos. Terrapagos. in its glittering aura. Please look forward to a new story that will unfold in two parts as you discover the roles that both these Pokemon will play in your adventures. Okay. The hidden treasure of Area Zero will be available for purchase on Nintendo eShop. I'm curious. This presentation ends. But there's not much. Uh, as soon as you make your purchase, new uniforms. You'll be able to get the new uniform set and don some new outfits in your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon. But they all look horrible. <laughs> they look horrible. As an early purchase bonus. We've also prepared a serial code that will allow you to claim a special Hisui Happy Zola Hour, for Dark, game Charismatic. Game. Okay. We hope you enjoy these expanded adventures in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Yeah, but we guess we have to wait until fall, won't we? What did you think? As we move forward, we'll keep trying to find new <laughs> ways to bring the joy of Pokemon to you all. Thank you for tuning in. Vega, Vega. You know, all in all, we, we kind of got what we were expecting. <coughs> uh, some, some DLC confirmation. No, I don't need to do that right now. No! <coughs> well, anyway, yeah. Um, we got some things that we were expecting. It was, uh, uh, I don't know. It was okay. I didn't expect too much. I was hoping maybe some 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 extra game reveal. The stop motion thing was kind of cute, but after all, it's just a stop motion. Not really something we can do much with. And Netflix hasn't really been up on their game lately. So I'm curious to see how that goes. The DLC looks interesting. Wish we could have gotten a little bit more information about it. It's a shame that it's only releasing in fall and winter. That is still such a long time away. We're hardly even in spring. I don't think we are in spring, actually. Uh, but yeah, looks good so far. Uh, expected a little more, but I'm not entirely disappointed. So for now, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you again here next time for some more friendly reacts. But until then, bye-bye!